I hope you enjoyed that. Two things are important to many people when a year starts, governance and money. I think authors are usually the smartest people around when it comes to offering ideas that can change situations. Well, apologies to all of you out there who are still working on your books. On a more serious note, to get the year started, here are golden words from two authors who joined us to review their books. The first is Rufai Oseni, a broadcaster, poet, and author of the book titled Keys to Mental Evolution. The book has much to say about how quality of thinking impacts on national productivity. You know, it was a worst case scenario for Singapore because they had no natural resource. They don't have any natural resource today. I was with a couple of my friends from Trilog Services in Singapore when they were telling me that Singapore has the third largest refinery in the world and they don't produce oil under the ground. What do you think what you do? He, he, he simply said, we're going to change this country in the next 30, 40 years. What we need to do, we need to do. There were ethnic divisions too, like we have tribal divisions in Nigeria. And that's the way we bicker about that. I keep looking and laughing. We've got to make things work. We've got to get on. I know there are those divisions there. We might not get to solve the division between the Wallonians and the Flanders in Belgium, that I think is even deeper. Because the so-called ethnic divisions we have in Nigeria are not very strong like that. They are just things peddled by politicians to divide us. We live together in peace and harmony. Across board in Lagos and some other cities. It's only when we have elections we, they, they remind us of the fact that you know, we are divided. We are not, really. And in doing this, we need to have a national roadmap. Where does Nigeria want to be in the next 40 years in agriculture? How many tons or metric tons of cocoa do we want to export? Do we want to be number one in the world? Do we want to be number one in groundnut? Do we want to be number one in sesame seed? We have capacity for sesame seed in Joss. Immense capacity. So what are we saying? We're doing 65% of the tomato in West Africa sub in the 60s. We had a national holistic approach. We had cocoa house in Ibadan. So it's not just made in Nigerian products. What is the volume we're giving out there? Do we want to be competitors in the ICT sector? The government is doing some things, but we need to show up the potential. If you know the number of apps and um, applications, I mean, that come up from Bangalore in India, their new Silicon Valley, or the Silicon Valley in America, you will see the immense capacity we have. So what do we want to do? We need to set this roadmap in place. And once you set it in place, what do you do? You start working towards it. Have a national plan, nationalistic plan. These are things we're calling for in the keys to mental evolution. This is where Nigeria wants to be in the next 50 years. How are we working towards it? How are we increasing study of science, technology, engineering, and maths, STEM subjects that will show up the economy of any country in the world? Our service industry, how are we improving upon that? We know Nigeria is a tourism hub, but how are we improving our tourism infrastructure? How are we having a national orientation program on tourism? to make the country more attractive. You go to other parts of the world, people are warm and welcoming, you need to make them understand that. So in these various sectors, you need to identify the sectors and say, where are we going? America, the biggest economy in the world today, has about 960 sectors, from technology to chemical production. Companies like DuPont are doing so well. So where are we moving to? And that's the consciousness I want to challenge in this book.